Old closed theater. This is our second time here, Pembroke. Population is 16,000. It's a decent sized town. Part of the Ottawa Valley. It's the it's Ottawa category. Valley. Yeah. Gas is getting cheap. 93 cents a liter now. That's compared to the high. The highest we paid was Almost in double. Relay Gabriel in Quebec at like a dollar seventy seven a liter. Yeah, almost double. Crazy. But now we're doing like major miles. So it's it's a nice relief. But Pembroke is the same town where we stopped at at a city park for the afternoon. I think we um, we made dinner Played in the playground and splash pad. Splash pad, right? It's too cold now for a splash pad, I think. I wonder if it's still open even. We went swimming in the in the river, remember? And Daddy went really far out. It was really shallow for a long time. Do you remember that day? But this is the Ottawa River. Right across the river is the province of Quebec, which is where we just came from. So we're going back there today, so Daddy can work. You guys can do a little bit of school, and hopefully it stops raining so we can play. If it's not too cold, I think it's going to be too cold. Well, I'll tell you, this place looks a lot more different than how it did two months ago. I mean, there weren't a bunch of people camping here two months ago either, but now they've got all the, all the picnic tables put away over there. Like all the, all the water's been shut off. Well, the water's not quite shut off. The water's just, they took all the handles off. So I can still fill water, but I have to use some pliers to get it to turn on. Which is what I'm doing now. We're really low on water. We still might spend the day here. Some of the leaves are changing color, which is kind of cool. I'm hoping to see a lot more of that on the way west. Oh, we drove to North Bay, Ontario, another place we've been before. The sun is just about to set, it's about 6 o'clock local time. Making pretty good progress, driving uh, west, but we're going to take a break, walk around, and then see what we're going to do for the night. What is that, the strawberry banana? The yummy? I didn't try it yet because I can't open the lid. Oh boy, just stab it. I got it. Daddy, can you do it? Okay, hold your cup really good. Ready? Ah! Ah! I got mine already. There. Mm. Took three tries. I got two tries. You did in two tries? I did in three tries. I did in two tries. Aha. Uh -huh. Our green square is going to have pineapple, kale, apple, and mint. What do you think about mint? I don't know. I'm starting to kind of regret the choice a little. What is your guys going to have? It's going to be green juice. You should have just got what? Green. Or the blue harvest. Sounds good. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Yeah, I kind of like the mint. Mint. See what you think, baby. <laughs> We're just drinking it from your drink. Good thing. He's throwing up. Very dramatic. Look at those clouds. Yeah. Look behind you. What? School buses? A whole bunch of school buses here too. 
Yeah. But aren't those clouds crazy? They're moving really fast, too. We made it back to the town of Sudbury, Ontario. Stayed at the same Walmart that we stayed at two months ago on the way east. And we're going to go back to the same library that we went to also two months ago on the way east. Just because it was really nice and today's a work day. So, it should be a pretty boring day really, huh? I'm just going to go to the library and then maybe drive some more. Yeah, you never know what can happen. Never know. Something exciting. Let's go to the library. Mapa Lapa. They didn't want to do the Papa Lapa song. Dude, Luca! Ready to go. <laughs> That's awesome. A successful day at the Sudbury Library. We all got to uh, take advantage of the facility, namely power, Wi-Fi, the quietness that the library affords that we usually don't get when we're just hanging out. So I think we're going to go find a campground, but first, lunch. We've got to find a place to eat lunch first. How do we feel like eating? Ooh, I think I can find pho in this town. Yeah, probably. Wanna go find Vietnamese food? Yeah. All right. So our plan is <coughs> to eat and then um, find some place west of town to to uh, the camp. If not for just one night, maybe even a couple of nights. It depends on what we want to do around here. Um, there's a place called the Rose Apple. It's Asian fusion. That doesn't sound awesome. There's also a buffet. Eh, that doesn't look awesome either. <laughs> Asian cuisine with a Z. That also doesn't sound awesome. I have it in here. I don't know where the magnifying glass is though. Mm, but it does have pho, so let's try that. Asian cuisine with the Z. You lost it. Except for extra. Okay, okay, thank you. In case you need it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, this is the V6 for. Uh, yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, careful. Mila, could you make room like I asked you to for yours? Yeah. Wow, it looks good, huh? Oh, okay, she's going Just that way. Be careful, I'm coming through here, okay? Looks awesome. Here. These are extremely hot. Oh, yeah. They have hot, steamy towels. For your face. Okay, can you finish eating, please? The issue isn't what you're saying, mostly it's the way. I think fortune. there's a few words missing in this one. So we made it to this Chutes Provincial Park about an hour west of Sudbury. Thinking that we're gonna stay here. Oops. We made it here thinking that we're gonna stay here at Chutes Provincial Park, about an hour west of Sudbury. No nice sounds. Guys. It's after the busy season, so there's nobody manning the booth in the front, so it's like a self register honor system now. But they want $47 a night, which, and this is, I don't know, maybe there's some cool stuff to do here. But I think it's just because it's Ontario. It's the most populated province so they charge probably more for everything because there are more people here that are more people using the provincial park system so we don't need to be here we don't want to be here just late and then pay for the night and then just get out on the road and drive in the morning 
So I think what we're going to do is drive all the way to Sault Ste. Marie, which is way ahead of schedule compared to what our original plan was. So maybe what we'll do, we just drove past Manitoulin Island and we didn't go. We thought that we would go on the way back, but again, that's a place that we don't have to go to because all this area, we're just north of the U.S. border. So anytime when we're like going back and forth and back and forth across the northern border of the U.S., we can easily hop back over here and see all this stuff. So really what we want to do is go to uh, get back to the west so we can explore more of the west, which we love so much. So getting a, a few extra miles in right now isn't terrible. I'm not terribly upset about missing some of this stuff. I know some of you guys who are from Ontario are probably thinking, man, there's so much cool stuff you're missing. And I know, I know we are, but we'll be back. We'll definitely be back. Mm -hmm.